So I'm just going to interject while Glenn's continuing to run this drill. But when I'm out, when I'm out watching junior players play, you know, the, the junior boys, and what I see a lot of times with setters is they want to be everybody's friend. They want to be an equal opportunity setter. I'm going to set a go ball. I'm going to set a quick. I'm going to set a back. I'm going to set a pipe. I'm going to set a D ball. And they go around the horn. They go around the horn. Well, and maybe three of those four balls don't get killed. And they've got their best hitter in left front. What's wrong with setting their best hitter if the blockers aren't, if they're popping on the middle and I can keep setting the go ball and getting kills, why don't I do that? And, and I think young setters need to know, hey, what's the object of the game? Set a guy who can kill the ball at the highest rate, right? And or run the play that gives us the best chance to kill the ball. And I see setters, young setters, they're running across the court and they're throwing the ball over the head. We call it jacking and jilling the ball. And they're trying to make this crazy set 35 feet over their head and it's not a killable ball. But it's like, well, I haven't set over my head in the last five minutes, so I guess I got to do that. And, and I just think with young setters, they need a lot of guidance. They need a lot of, hey, here's our plan. It's okay if until they stop that guy, keep setting that guy. Or, or, or if they can't stop this play, let's keep running this play. I mean, Tom Brady will throw the ball to the same guy time after time after time if it gets a team down the field and scores a touchdown, right? I mean, let's not make it harder than it has to be. Now, when you get to the advanced level, Glenn's coaching a pro team, hey, there becomes a lot of tactics, and you've got to change tactics because blockers change tactics. But at the junior level, the blocking's not that good, and just don't allow that setter to do things he's not capable of doing. You know, we, we call it, just keep it simple. You know, short side, a lot of balls, set the balls on the same side that you're on, Let's not, let's not th make long throws, because I think those are hard balls for hitters to kill, aren't they, Glenn? Yeah. Unless like it's we an had, advanced had, attacker. I've had an example even in pro, where we go three rotations, we get a really small blocker on the outside, and we don't set our big guy in front of him at any time. Like, that's how bad it can be sometimes. You know, just, I don't know what goes through my setter's mind. I had an example, I had a setter where game plan was, hey, their middle is jumping all the time. You know, so we start the game, first ball, boom, middle, get blocked, we get blocked. Sets another 51, boom, we get blocked. I call the time out and I said, hey, he says, I told you that this guy commits all the time. Well, he can't be that dumb. I said, well, he is that dumb and you're gonna stop, and you're gonna stop setting it, you know? So. Or my setter would go, hey, I know my guy's gonna get kill one of these times, I'm gonna keep setting him. <laughs> well, five points later, we're still over five. Uh.